morning friends and happy Thursday uh, it's funny because yesterday you know I cleaned the pantry and we came across like our waffle and pancake mix and so this morning we were like "Ooh, let's make waffles and pancakes so we did but um, I made obviously my gluten-free ones the golden malted this is so good and I've only been able to order this on Amazon so I'm gonna have to order another bag of it because it's like almost gone but then we also had this one, which is not gluten-free. So Brian went ahead and made his waffle with this. And this is the ones that they use at like Disney or at hotels and stuff. This is like the best brand. And it tastes so good. And this tastes just like it, except for the fact that it's gluten-free. So it's, it's just really, really good and amazing. But it just makes so much. Like I'm not going to finish all those. I already had two, but sometimes what I like to do is I'll take one and I'll like break it up in pieces and I'll dip it in syrup and it's just so good that way too. But yeah, they are delicious. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So, so good. But we had this waffle maker and Brian just used his little waffle maker. So now I have to clean up the kitchen and put all this stuff away and then get started with my day. Alrighty, so this is the room that I'm gonna tackle today. Um, it shouldn't take me too long. I took the sheets and stuff off the bed the other day and I just need to go take the pillowcases off and then I need to throw them in the wash. That way I can just put it right back on the bed. So that is what I'm gonna work on right now. But first, I'm gonna hang up all these clothes. I'm gonna put all these candles away, put our suitcases away, and at least uh, make the floor at least walkable. So that is what I'm gonna work on. Yeah. On this cold December day, we are on our merry way, riding along, just singing a song, barreling through the snow. Bells are jingling, snowflakes tingling, Rudolph knows where to go. On this cold December day, I am piloting my the work to be done on my Christmas run is the most tired chore. No girl or boy without a toy. So giddy up, root of my dear. Eight pair of onwards ever go. that this bedroom is done it's just very blah in here and very plain obviously I mean it's just a guest bedroom I um, mean the only people that really stay in here are guests and Brian's parents when they come into town but I um I put that in here that's from the living room I put that in here for now because I have something else sitting on the little table in there but now that this room is done and cleaned up I did not put uh sheets on that bed I just kind of wanted to make up the bed and get it done and over with and I can put sheets on it another time or when we have a guest coming in so it's really not that big of a deal um, I just kind of wanted to get it done uh, now I'm going to work in the bathroom which is located right there sorry about that bump I have you guys on the um tripod but anyway so right there is the bathroom and you're crooked <laughs> so I'm gonna go in there and start cleaning up the bathroom it really won't take me long sinks toilet all that good stuff so I'm gonna head in there and do that now so I just finished the guest bathroom. So now I'm gonna go in here and do this bathroom. It is just the bathroom that is right off of our foyer area. So right here, there's the dining room, there's the front door. It's just this bathroom, pretty much the one that everybody uses. So I am going to go in there and clean it. It is, it's just a small toilet. It's got a sink and a toilet in there. Um, so yeah, it won't take me long to do that one either. 
Alrighty, so this bathroom is cleaned up. I even dusted like around the rim and everything of the wall, trim, chair rail, whatever you wanna call it. Um, anyway, um, I will mop in there when I go to mop all of this. You can kind of see some spots right here that I need to mop up, but that was also part of my list for today. So I have this bathroom done. I don't know what that is, but throw it away. Um, the garbage can probably needs to be emptied, but yeah, I will mop this floor uh, when I mop the foyer. But anyway, so yeah, this is all done. I just want to show you what I put in here as far as Christmas. Just a cute little snowman, the little snowflake, and then of course that little like bar of soap. So that's the only thing that I have in here as far as Christmas. I took the hand towel out because I'm going to go wash that. That way it has a nice fresh hand towel in here for Saturday. And now to... Um, I'm going to vacuum up this rug, I'm going to vacuum up around everything, and then start mopping.
we're staying warm And the star will always shine It's the season for all times Walking in our midnight wanderland Well, my goodness. I literally have completed everything on my task except for two things. My bathroom in our bedroom, our, our master bathroom, and um, the upstairs. I need to just go to co upstairs and just kind of straighten that up, clean that up. But that is going to happen tomorrow. So those are the only two things that I need to get done. And I can get those things done tomorrow afternoon into the evening. So, so very thankful that I have everything done. Everything is cleaned, everything is in its spot, everything is perfect. With that being said, because I have stuff that I have to carry upstairs. So this stuff goes upstairs, all that stuff goes upstairs, this goes to the Goodwill. So, um, but yeah, I am, ooh, I am just so thankful that everything is about done. Um, but with everything being done and the house being like completely perfect, spotless, whatever, I will be now doing a home tour. I will start, I'll probably do it tomorrow um, before like, everything happens over the weekend. That way I know that everything is completely perfect and where it needs to be. So yes, I will be doing a home tour. I don't know when I'm going to post it, um, but I do know that I will get it done tomorrow, um, like filmed tomorrow. So, and then I'll decide when I'm going to put it up probably one day next week, Tuesday or Wednesday, just not sure yet. Uh, but yeah, who's excited for a home tour? Me. I am because that means I'm finally, finally done. It's funny because I can actually sit down and just go <sighs> and just take a deep breath and know that it's all done. And Saturday is our Christmas here and I am super, super excited about it. So uh, yeah, with that being said, I'm actually going to go take a shower because I have an influencer uh, Christmas party to go to tonight at the camp. So um, yeah, I'll share a little bit of that with you guys. But for now, I'm going to sign off and take a shower. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye. Alrighty, friends. So welcome to my evening. Um, it is about 4.54, almost 5 o'clock. And I left a little bit early so I could actually go over to Buff City Soap really quick to pick up a few gifts. But first, I had to put gas in my car. I only had about 20 miles left. And that would not get me to where I needed to go and back again to the house this evening. So, um, and I have been so like mad and so upset because I do not know how to dress for this weather. It is December and I'm sweating my butt off and I'm, I'm wearing a sweater. But I do have short sleeves on, but I have a sweater on. Um, I was just getting so aggravated because it's like, I wanna dress for cold, but it's not cold outside. So that's aggravating to me. And uh, I wanted to dress, you know, wintry and I can't exactly dress wintry when it's exactly 70 degrees outside still at five o'clock at night so anyhow my battery looks like it's about ready to die so I need to grab a battery and change it and then I need to go take care of the gas pump so I will do that welcome to my evening we're gonna go to Buff City Soap and go have some fun with some influencers Alrighty, so I made it out here to where I'm supposed to go, the camp, to meet with the influencers and stuff. But it's right across the street from, as you guys can see right there, is Trader Trader Joe's. So it is a possibility that when I leave here tonight, I might just go over to Trader Joe's really quick and pick up a few of the things that I need for Saturday, which would be um, some of my charcuterie stuff, which might like my meats and some of my cheeses. I'm just gonna have a small, small, I say small, I usually go way overboard, um, but I'm gonna do a small like charcuterie board snacks for when people start to arrive because I don't want to really eat like right away at 12:30. I was thinking more or less like eating around two, and then maybe doing gifts around one, one thirty, and then eating around two, and then people will start making their way out before around four because it's gonna start getting dark outside. So I know my parents will and my aunt and uncle because they have a 
even though it's like an hour and a half drive, it's still like they don't want to drive home in the dark, which I don't blame them at all. Courtney and them, not so. They have a drive too, but they they're right here, like kind of in town. So it's not like they have to go on any bad dark back roads or anything like that. So, um, but yeah. So now I'm just gonna try to find a spot to park, and uh, yeah, figure this out. I don't know if there's any place to park. Oh yes, let's go in there. All right, so I made it here, and this place is lit. <laughs> like, not kidding, like lit. So here it is. Here's all the lights and stuff. Oh, there's Miss Amanda. I see her. So little swag bags, does it matter which one we pick? Does it matter? No, I don't think so. Okay. It sounds like they all make them the same. Oh, how cute. Cocktails. These are all the cocktails. Oh, okay, that's what it was. The Christmas Politan, Jolly Koala, Christmas Carol Burrell, Barrel, sorry, On Dasher, Bad Santa. These are all the uh, drinks, cocktails, and then shots, and then take home, uh, take home mugs. Oh my gosh, the Naughty and Nice shot glasses. Those are cute. And the Fa La La. Oh my God, those are adorable. Like, what are these beautiful cupcakes? These are 21 and up only. Oh, 21 and only. Okay, oh my gosh, those look amazing. Wow, so what's in them that they're 21 and up? Some type of alcohol. Oh, okay. Wow. Oh, so you don't know. They're not yours. No. Oh, okay. I didn't call. I did not oh, make any. Oh, the girl that the sugar pusher. Yeah, oh, she made it. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. All okay. of these little ones. Wow. Okay, okay. Wow. Look how cute those are. Oh my god. Those are adorable. So it's actually it has snow. Oh no, it went away. Where did all the snow go? I'm sure they'll bring it back. It'll come back again. Oh, but Santa Claus. It was snowing. <laughs> so this is the drink that I ordered. And I ordered the On Dasher. It's gin, vanilla, liquor, marshmallow, cardamom, black pepper, lemon, cream, egg, soda, and obviously it contains dairy and eggs. So we're going to give it a try. I don't know. Let's see. That's a lot of liquor. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there is a cute little marshmallow in it though. But so fun. Hey. Oh my gosh. I don't think I probably won't be able to finish it because it's like too strong. But still delicious nonetheless. Here's a lot more of those cookies. So they've got like snowflake ones and they've got, I don't know which kind these ones are. Oh my gosh. Loft house cookies style eggnog, sugar, chewy ginger molasses. Those ones are, look so good. These ones look super good too. I don't know what's in these ones though. That's fudge, pink peppermint, 50-50. La Nyor, I don't know. These ones are absolutely gorgeous. I wish I could learn how to make those. Those are so pretty. And then those are the ones that you can't have unless you're over 21 and then there's some more in here how cute little chocolate pops and all kinds of other things marshmallows how cute these look like little like i don't know what they look like mailboxes how cute though oh you're so welcome oh my gosh oh my gosh where did the koalas before we start getting like alcoholic that looks really good so good. Look at all this good food. Anastasia ate all the strawberries. <laughs> it's okay. Somebody got some sliders, some wings, some french fries. Ooh, girl, this all looks so good. So these are my nachos that I ordered. They got like chicken and like steak on there. I'm excited to try these. Oh no, it looks like Santa had a little too much to drink. He's not having it tonight. Poor Santa. Aw, oh, poor Santa. Oh, Santa's done. So thank goodness all that was like underneath tents because it like 
poured down rain. And I met so many more influencers that I was already following on Instagram um, and a YouTuber as well that I didn't know was YouTubing. Well, I did know she was YouTubing because I already subscribed to her. <clears throat> so that was the first time I actually met her, which is great. Um, and just so many more influencers and that was amazing. So um, I was gonna go to Trader Joe's right now, but I think I'm just gonna like head home because I can come out and do Trader Joe's tomorrow or I don't even have to do Trader Joe's. I can just go get this stuff someplace else. But that was so much fun. Thank you, Amanda, for putting it all together. We got little treat bags and swag. I took some of those cookies and brought them home for Brian. I can't eat them, of course, because gluten. <clears throat> but yeah, that was a lot of fun. Very happy that she did it. I'm very happy that I came. And that's gonna be it for the vlog, ladies. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.